है गाइस आई एम योर टेक कंसल्टेंट एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट एडोबी फोटोशॉप एडोबी फोटोशॉप इज यूज टू एडिट द पिक्चर्स टू मेक मोर इंपैक्ट इन द पिक्चर्स एंड वी आर लर्निंग मेनी टूल्स वी हैव लर्न ऑलमोस्ट मेनी टूल्स एंड वी आर जस्ट कंप्लीटिंग आवर लास्ट फ्यू टूल्स so today i will be teaching you uh, two very important tool which are called blur tool and sharpen tool so you know that uh, it's a trending that uh, the people uh, make pictures with their backgrounds a little blurred or even more blurred and the front is uh, more sharpen so we use this sharpen and blur tool to make the impact in the picture so this will be used uh, similarly like uh, um, brush so first of all i will uh, unlock my layer then i will go to sharpen and blur tool this is blur tool this is sharpen tool and this is smudge tool i will tell you smudge tool later on but uh, today i will be telling you about blur tool and sharpen tool so let's select the sharpen tool so as i told you that uh, uh, whenever we click on a tool the menu appears up here so here is the size of the brush as i told you that uh, if we are going to use this this one this will be work as a brush so we can just increase or decrease the size of brush brush by pressing the right bracket key and we can decrease it by pressing the left brush key, uh, left bracket key so this will be this size will be enough for me here the strength of the brush you can take up to 100 and you can take it down uh, however you want this will depend on uh, your uh, demand and on your needs so you will see the picture quality and you will see what you are going to do with the picture so it depend, depends totally on you so mode is normal you can say dark and light and hue saturation color you can use anything but uh, i am just uh, using normal but you will have to explore the others so that you uh, you you will be able to know which tool is suitable for you and when to use so you have to explore it so first of all i will add a layer so that everything which i will perform will be present in layer 1 so i will click on sample all layers because if this is not selected we cannot uh, mark changes in that layer so now what i have to do i will just uh, use it as a brush and very carefully i can rub this brush here to add the blurriness so let's see if the blurriness has added or not it's a uh, doing something let's wait till this waiting option ends so zoom so let me turn it off yes you can see a uh, blurriness has added in the picture if you cannot uh, clearly visualize i can increase the strength of uh, this blurriness to the 100 and then i will turn this layer on and i will apply it here to show you how the blurriness works now it will takes uh, uh, some time to add blurriness so you can see now this is the sharpen and now this has become such a blur so blurriness could be used to create impact in the picture 
when you will add the blurriness you can also uh, increase uh, this uh, you can also sharpen this so how will we sharpen it this will be done in this sharpen tool and we will increase its brush size from the uh, right bracket and we will select sample all layers and this layer one was a uh, blurriness and we will add another layer that will be the sharpness sharpness we will select this sharpen layer and then we will just use this sharpen tool to sharpen this image but it will depend on your picture requirement you cannot use it without expertise you you will be using it on hit and trial basis you will uh, use these uh, in, uh, tools and after using every tool you will visualize and you will try to see that this image has increased or decreased your picture quality so you will use it on the hit and trial basis so let me zoom it and show you you can see um, this was before sharpness as this is after sharpness so you we have created a sharpness in the image is it looking good or not it is not the topic of day we are just telling you how you can add sharpness to in your picture so you will do whatever will, uh, whatever will look nicer in your picture you will not do it randomly so this was all about uh, today's lecture which we were studying uh, sharpness and blur in the next tool i will tell you smudge tool what is the smudge tool and then we will move to the a few uh, other tools and then our course of uh, adobe photoshop will end but we will just teach you uh, the various tricks in the future too and you can ask any question if you have regarding the adobe photoshop and we will be uh, happy to answer your questions so till next video stay blessed